All right, this is the back plate that mounted the starter and mounted the DLE 170. And so I know it automatically fits the frame. And so what I'm gonna do is trace this out because we're gonna put a DLE 222 or attempt to put it on this frame. And I thought about just drilling the holes because these holes didn't match up to the bolting pattern for the DLE 222. So, and I didn't want to mess this up because, I mean, they partially match and I tried to figure out different ways of moving it around so that I could just drill the holes where I needed it. But there was really no good way of not messing up what was already there. Oops. So what I'm gonna do now is trace this out and it doesn't have to be this exact shape, but I thought maybe in the future, if I ever found a way to put the starter on this DLE 222 or come up with a different variation, at least I have a rough idea of where everything was at on that DLE 170. And then I can keep this for that other 170 and not damage it. head try to get close to that center point so when I drill this it'll match all right I'm gonna go ahead and drill these this is gonna be a 5 sixteenths I'm gonna go ahead and leave that in there for now just to mark them I'm not gonna drill all the way through yet I'm just marking the location all right Go ahead and drill those out. This is the base plate for the DLE 222. And what I'm gonna do is, these are the bolts, the inner ones are the bolts that actually mount to the engine itself. And these are the bolt holes that would allow you to mount it to a frame. But that's not wide enough for the little DLE 170 engine. So this is a quarter inch aluminum plate that I'm using for the base plate, for the mounting plate that I'm making. That's what was already on there. On the 222, you've got longer washers on the left, top and bottom, and then shorter spacers, I should say, on the right. You can see this is offset, like this one extends out further than that one. So the shorter ones are gonna go here, the longer ones are going to go here on your base plate. So I'm going to go ahead and slap that on and see if everything fits. And then once we do that, that works out. Then we can mount this bad boy to the actual frame. I have to get my torque wrench and torque that down later. But right now, because I may have to take it apart again. The little metric bolts that mount the vibration dampening mounting bolts on the front just just don't look long enough for me so i'm gonna see if i can't find one that's about a quarter inch longer maybe a half inch longer it looks like i've got that much room inside there all right we're gonna go ahead and install the gas tank 
Now, before I do anything with the fuel line, I wanna go ahead and get the air filters on. All right, so that's one air filter. Let's go ahead and screw that in. So these just thread in. I like that option better. I might have to find that for my DLE 170. All right, that looks good. Put that back on, so these just drill in. I'll come up with a way to tether those on later on. So if they do shake loose, I don't have to worry about it going in my prop. So this is a three-hold muffler. I had to put the original spacer that came with the DLE 222 back on to give enough room to get this muffler to fit on. Had to do a little redneck engineering. So you notice you can't see that bolt right there. Um, I won't describe what I'm doing. This muffler does not go on this side. But for right now, just to keep trash from getting down into the piston, I'm going to put it on there. I'm not going to put any Loctite right now, but I'm not going to. This is a four hole, and I've ordered another three hole. I'm going to take this little vent off because I'm not going to be using it. And I'm going to flip that three hole on this side around, but that will place the exhaust, it'll place the exhaust on that side. And I shouldn't have to do the same modification that I did right. to this side. Spark plugs in here. We've got this exhaust in. We're waiting on this same type of three hole exhaust to replace this four hole. And I'm waiting on a T for the fuel line. So once that T comes in, because we have two carburetors, so we have to have two fuel lines, and we have to have a split. So I'm gonna go ahead and install the ignition now. Got the ignition set up, so I've just got it hooked in. So this wire goes up there, and then the ignition on the left side is running to the other side. Now I'm gonna have to check and make sure I've got it wired up correctly. Right now I'm just got the spark plug wires on, spark plug spark plugs in just to keep dust out. Same thing with the air filters and mufflers. I'm gonna switch out this muffler with another three hole, turn that around, and then I'll tidy up these loose ends here for the wires that I don't need. And right now that's gonna be our stopping point.